grabs an invisibility rune, moves into the radiant jungle. Let's see what he can find. May uh, bump into puppy. puppy. Yep, he was working on some mud golems. <laughs> He's gonna get clubbed. Level two, actually. He might build a solo kill puppy here. He's got the stun. Oh, puppy's done for. I think two more auto attacks. One more. There you go. The bot or the ogre. Bot is Should expect this to be a fat boy to fall goes well. And then you have to wonder how they're going to deal with it. Gorak in some trouble. Early point echo stomp from Big Daddy will help set up this kill. Kuro trying to punch him with that rock uh, fist. Uh -oh. And now Gorak will get sandwiched in. No, no tail. Big Daddy gives him the staple gun. And Gorak will find. I, again, I, I don't think Secret of the best solutions to deal with a Void until his BKB right there. Bottom lane, though, Kuroki's good on Kuroki. Yep, and there's the Ignite coming in from the Ogre. Kuroki should go down here. Gorak finds that last auto attack required. Big Daddy still doing a lot of damage. on going play, and I think it's also a smart adaptation by Puppy. Yeah. So, good, yes. good rotation for both guys. Mid lane, though. Yeah, he's going to find himself in trouble. FNNJ comes in. Skewer off to the side. They'll be able to bring him down. I feel like Big Daddy has just been proving that old theory to be wrong. Top lane, fly in some trouble as Arts comes in. I Gorak see. does teleport up, and the dubs will chase him down as he's stuck Aww. inside of the Sprout. Another freebie to the bottom lane. So no kill comes out there, but Kuroki's still racking up some decent I farm. Farm a bit behind of that in the Void, though. Only uh, 23 CS compared to the 33 Kuroki bottom lane. up top. Yeah, now he gets jumped on Gorak, teleports down once more, the sets the it up. Avalanche comes through, but not enough to keep the Tiny alive. And Secret will concede another death here in their safe lane. But it might not be over yet. Now as for the haste rune on his way down. The S4 haste, classic. They have, a, they have an RP, but F and N is chasing the Elder Titan through the river. Going for that solo play. And finds the RP. Some creeps coming in. Wrath and Nature into the shockwave. Enough to bring down the Big Daddy. But Big Daddy will find Gork bottom lane. Yeah, Gork TPs in very aggressively here. And there could be potential uh -oh. for a kill. The Sprout comes out. He traps them both inside. Kuroki connects with the Avalanche. Big Daddy looking for the Echo Stomp and puts a Dread to sleep. Earth Splitter flies through. Does connect on the Ogre. There's jump. the toss forward. S4. Is he going to be able to close the gap? Well, he finds the Nature's Prophet. Hits him with a Thunderclap. And that's enough for a kill. Now F and NJ coming in. There's your shockwave. No RP for 45 <laughs> seconds, misses the skewer, and the Rhinoceros will be unsuccessful on this front. There's your split, and we'll see what S4 can do. Hits him with a boulder, Illusion Rune will spawn, and uh, puts him inside the tornado. Sets up for Kuroki to come on down. Does have a combo available. Afeninje will take another boulder. There is your avalanche, and this should be a dead Magnus. And down he goes, but Dread finds the kill onto Elder Titan. Nature's Prophet finishes him off with the Wrath of Nature. And Dread makes it to the high gown. Kuroki sipping up the bottle. S4 gets tossed in. Thunderclap and a crit for good measure. Double kill for the Brewmaster. But a buyback from the Magnus. Now Gorek teleporting over. Will connect with the Sprout onto S4. Magnus hungry for vengeance. Finds it with the skewer after the shockwave. Ends the spree on the Brewmaster. And armor out of the gate. Yeah, Tiny has really poor base armor, so yeah. I think it's just a casual one, like you said. Yeah, just going for the value. We'll see here. Uh, initiation down bottom is done. No Tail walks into the fray, uses the Echo Stomp, connects on both of them actually, creates some setup onto Gorak, and Brewmaster comes in with his barrel of blast. That'll be enough to bring down the Prophet. Earth Splitter to interrupt Jet. Dread comes out just half. Uh, no, really val valuable. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, we'll hold that thought RP here. Under the tower, though. Yep. Huge skewer from Half Ninja. They don't have a Mystic Flare yet, and they get off the split. Oh, this is not going to go quite as well as what I thought it would. Still, maybe Half Ninja makes his way out. He's going to turn on Goddamn, cycle him up, drop him down, boulder toss. Oh, well, it's onto the Magnus. Now they're not getting the kill. Go top. be super aggressive, and then if KPG are unable to get, now he's going to mid. Yeah, combo onto Gorek. Ponies to follow up, and Puppy gets the kill with the Illuminate. Yep, bottom lane. F and NJ. Whoa, oh, mid lane. Skewer onto Kuroki back towards the tower. RP down for another 15 seconds. The blinding light pushes him into an odd position and gives Kuroki and the now, time he needs for the blink. Where okay. Dreads go, says four's going in, has the haste turn, brings down one. He's chasing for a double. Goddamn, no mana has stick charges, though. Yeah. Two picks coming out for Secret uh, across the map. And now, for the first time this game, really, they get a gold and sizable experience edge down at the bottom lane. Got him, gets initiated on by S4, finds a couple of crits, and brings him down. Nope. Now Art for five. turns on the Mask of Madness, but uh, tries to go blow for blow with the Brew. There's an Echo Stomp to stop him dead in his tracks. Now Gorak moving around the tree line. Needs to be a little careful here. They're going on to S4. F and NJ with an RP. Oh, no, Fate pumps it. The split comes out. Now Arts takes a boulder. Will he die inside of his own chrono? He does. He goes down. They also lose the Prophet. Dread comes in with the Magnus Kuroki taking a lot of damage but gets the toss off now they lose the ogre and Kuroki will just barely be able to survive it's a triple kill for the brew and this is looking like a disastrous team fight for KPG secret coming out leagues ahead and meanwhile in the top puppy just split pushing and will be able to get a tier one tower out of this
Oh, they're not done yet. S4 blinks it again. They've killed off goddamn. Now the RP. Beautiful, but where's the follow-up is the question. Half a ninja, no skewer for three seconds. Who get S4. Double kill for him. Now they chase for Big Daddy. Got the skewer and can cancel the TP. Shockwave, triple kill for him. No chronosphere, though. And they do have Ravage. He's got a time walk. Maybe he can dodge away from this. Mm, there's your mask of madness. Going to puppy. Uh-oh, that was a... Potentially a huge mistake if he doesn't get some backtrack luck, but he gets a little bit. Well, there is a gush oh, available. Tide can just gush him to the face. Doesn't even need it. Just anchor smack. Yeah, Teleport. I mean, I assume you do, but from Gorak, they'll go on to Simba. Now they know he doesn't have the ultimate. Out comes the Ancient Seal Mystic Flare. More than enough to bring down Fly. Puppy still alone in the lane. They won't pursue onto him. And oh, that's where the action's at. Double damage on Afa Ninja as S4. No split, taking a lot of tower shots here. All right, everyone else just going back to farming. Puppy split pushing once more in the bottom lane. He's looking for a mech. We'll have it pretty soon. S4 goes in up top, goes in on the Gotham. Uh, doesn't lane follow on puppy. up yet. Yep, Puppy now looks like... I don't think they'll need the Chrono for this one. Just right click should be enough. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Skywrath Mage gets taken out from the Earth Splitter of Big Daddy. They'll go on on to Afeninje around the tower. Primal Split's been used. Kuroki in the tree line. Blinks to dodge. The Shockwave comes in for the kill. The Mega Streak is ended. Now the rest of the fight will come out as Dread comes in looking for a kill on to Big Daddy. But, well, or, pardon me, uh, the Brew is still here. S4 will finish him off, and it's a double kill for the Brewmaster. And somehow down bottom, Puppy even survived all that. Yeah, Arts did not have mana. I, I, I don't think he got mana leaked. I'm pretty Just sure, again, he, it's uh, much less margin for error as a spell. Yeah. Mm. And look at the farm on this boy. He's at 5,200 at work. Mid lane, Kuroki just destroys the Skywrath Mage, blinks in with natural order. That combo hurts like the Dickens. Now, Dread in some trouble. Earth Splitter flies through, will catch him. And that's an easy two for nil. Now Afeninje comes Earth in, connects avoid. with the RP, skewer back into the tower, but Echo Stomp will be there. S4 taking some He's decent damage. And yeah, Kuroki just goes back in. Oh, they just drop the hammer all over KPG. Arts, he still has a, uh, an ultimate, but there's no follow-up damage now. He's trying to survive. Gorak hanging out by the tower. It won't even be enough for Arts to stay alive. I know it's too. And yeah, this should be a five for nil. Even a split used for this. Secret just They're running just over KPG. On. This yeah. Void has just not been in the fights at the right time. The Chronos haven't been that great. And oh, this poor faceless Void, man. Now, meanwhile, in the mid lane, Dread and Big Daddy going at it. S4 comes flying in with a blink dagger, gets a couple of crits, and yeah, that ogre. He needs a lot of items now. Everyone on yeah. Secret is tanky. They're going to... Going mid with the Yule Scepter Stomp combo from Big Daddy. This could be bad. Yeah, the rest of the damage coming in. Four Staff will keep from him safe from Kuroki. Nice. And now Arts goes back in. Just a Chrono on once. Simba's there with the ultimate. The Ravage will help break things up. Kuro still survives. And it's just another disastrous fight for the Dire. F and NJ coming in. Will skewer back onto Big Daddy, but can't find an RP. They do manage to pick off the Tiny, but now F and NJ is isolated. A huge RP now on four. Is there the follow-up damage? A Ding Ding comes out on the Keeper of the Light. Magnus goes down. Gorak gets caught by a Yules. That'll interrupt his TP in secret. Not the cleanest team fight they've taken no, this game, yet. but still a victory for them. Yeah, two for four as Dread. Maybe not safe. Echo Stomp will stop him dead in his tracks and make it a full five-man wipe. That's a two for five. They say, let's just fight now while this Void is a Mask of Madness and 900 health. And there's just nothing you can do. Secret found the perfect timing window, and we'll see it once again. A little miscommunication there as they set up on the Void. Kuro was going in for the combo. That'll keep Arts alive. Afa Ninja with a nice skewer on two. Fortunately, no RP and no follow-up damage to secure the kills. He stomps, man. He slept their entire team. Three oh, heroes God. stomped. They're all retreating out. They may lose Big Dad. No, probably not even. He's moving at 49 move speed. Yeah, he's just MVP. fine. Kuroki comes back in, gets the combo on two. Gorak survives one hit from death, but now S4 hopping forward, or pardon me, Simba hopping forward, finds the kill onto the Sky Wrath. Ogre goes down, and uh, Secret just playing with their food before they eat it. KPG up against the wall. 7, 3, and 21. He's been involved in 28 kills out of 34. His own brew mid, S4, has only been in 20. The Tide's only been in 11 kills. The Tiny's been in 18. He has been in 10 more kills than anyone else on this team as a four-position Elder Titan, who is not normally known for his early game aggression. Big Daddy living up to his name. He is the Big Daddy of this game. As oh, oh, RP coming in, but Afeninje taking a lot of damage in return. He gets stunned up. and Look at Arts. He's just like, oh. I don't know what to do, man. I'm just going to sit here for a while. He's like, I, I see what you want to do, Afeninje, but I don't know if I believe in it. And just, oh, my GG. Okay. <laughs> 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 this nice, just, this uh, nice chrono, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. There you go. GG. And NN says Arts. That's a nice quick game here to get us back on track for the schedule today, LD. 39 to 19, 24 minutes of gameplay. Secret just giving it to him.
That's funny. My, I like how the ogre's carcass is like in the. <laughs> it's in the middle of the the volcano or whatever. Uh, whatever the, that is, the a ogre, hollowed out cavern. The ogre got incinerated. 